Hello friends! What's up and welcome or welcome back to my channel and I'm glad you are here today because for today's video I have something very exciting because we're gonna be all about this little box right here and it's da -da -da -da, a little tattoo machine to be exact a rotary tattoo pen and I got this one off of Amazon it was like a kit and I will link it in the description box down below and I'm obviously not a professional, I am not a licensed tattoo artist, I am doing this at the comfort of my own home and I don't recommend you to do this at home and this is also not a tutorial on how to tattoo, this is just basically me trying out a tattoo machine and um, practicing <laughs> and I do have like some experience um, when it comes to tattooing, but like I only did hand poke tattoos so far. I did a lot of stick and pokes on my own body and even some of my friends. And I did use a tattoo machine once. I don't even know what, it, what machine it was, but this is how it turned out. And it's obviously not very good in case you can uh, recognize what this is supposed to be. It's um, a cactus. And yeah, it's obviously not good, but I mean it stayed in the skin, so um, I would consider myself quite the tattoo artist. Um, <laughs> anyways, in this video I will just show you everything I got for this learning process and I will also show you like the progress. I filmed myself for a week trying to learn how to tattoo and I might be tattooing my boyfriend at the end of this video, so... Um, if you're interested in that, you should definitely keep watching and I hope you enjoy this one. <laughs> and another quick disclaimer, please don't do this. Please don't recreate this at home. Um, if you choose to order this machine and do it, then do it at your own risk. Please inform yourself what things you should use, what things you need to get to properly learn how to tattoo. And please inform yourself about the ink and the sterilization pro process and everything. So yeah, just be careful when you do things like these because it's something that stays on your body forever. And yeah, here's everything that comes with the kit. You have cartridge needles, you have the power supply for the machine where you can adjust the voltage. Then you have obviously the machine itself, this is the mast model, so this was the rotary pen which felt quite nice. And last but not least you have grip tape, you also get a foot pedal and of course a manual on how to plug in all the cables. Let's just try, I'm so nervous I'm shaking. I'm just gonna draw some lines and see how this goes. <laughs> Don't even know how to hold this. Okay. Definitely not too deep. Let's try this again. This one looks okay. I'm also like checking to see if there is any blowouts on the back and so far it does not seem like there is anything so I'll just continue with whatever I'm doing. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, they are a little shaky, as you can see, but so far, I don't know, I think it's going okay, but I also do not know anything about this. So far, so good. I think a few lines as you can see in the ending in the ending right here they are a little dark so i think i went too deep like at the end but so far i think it's going pretty well so i'm gonna try to draw a circle now <laughs> I'm 
mean, not too bad. I didn't go deep enough, I think, but... Mm. Yeah, I didn't go deep enough on that one. <sighs> but I think so far it's going good. <laughs> I'll just um, continue doing this and then I will tune in with you later when I actually want to like um, draw something on there and try to do that one. Oh my god, I fucked up that S real bad. <laughs> that looks terrible. I think I just went too quick just now because I thought I could do it, but I can't. And I shouldn't rush through this. So far, so good. This is what my fake skin looks like right now. It looks pretty good. I like the face. I think this one turned out pretty good. Um, the shading right here is okay, I guess, for the first time. And all in all, I think the line work is okay. <laughs> like, I am definitely um, surprised. This is the back. As you can see right here around the flame, I went a little too deep. Then right here on the outside, I don't know if I went too deep or if there's just too much color in the skin. This is the one where I purposely went too deep and I went too deep at this point. So, but in general, like you can see at the end of the line, I always seem to press a little harder. So definitely we'll have to work on that. But so far, so good for the first try. Not too bad. <laughs> For day two, I managed to put two stencils on my fake skin and afterwards I just freehanded a few other motives which came to my mind. I also decided to try shading again for day two, but this time I used the same needle which I used for the line work and did whip shading. As you can see, I am still very shaky when it comes to pulling straight lines, but I think for the second day it's still pretty good and I rarely went too deep with the needle. As you can see on day three, I only used stencils as well and just traced them without freehanding anything afterwards because this took me about two hours and I was pretty done afterwards.
I think this was one of the best days because as you can see there is nothing on the bag so I didn't go too deep at any point. For day 4 I just chose to do lots of freestyling and I used my two old fake skins just so I could be able to fill up the space and not waste any of it. I forgot to film the back, but it was just the usual. I went too deep in some spots and in the others I just didn't. <laughs> For day 5 I chose a lot of motifs off of Pinterest and just drew them onto the fake skin so I could trace them and this was honestly one of my favorite pieces of fake skin just because I loved the motifs a lot and I would actually get some of these onto my body as well, but don't worry, I didn't. <laughs> As you can see, I left a few motifs unfinished or even untouched because I tend to get headaches while I practice tattooing. But nevertheless, the back looked good as well. There are a few spots where I went too deep, but so far I am proud of the work and progress I've made. On day 6 my boyfriend finally let me tattoo him, I made some stencils and I used this ink which is also used by my favorite tattoo studio. As soon as I set up my workspace I started tattooing my boyfriend and honestly I was so nervous, I was shaking the whole time and I was sweating my balls off. And sometimes my boyfriend's like twitched because I went over a spot which hurt more than the others. And all in all, he told me that this was one of his more painful tattoos, which could have also been the placement of it. But all in all, I am very glad with how it turned out. And he also told me he likes it. We will have to see how it heals, but so far, so good. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think it looks pretty good for like a beginner <laughs> All right, we are already at the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed watching and if you did and if you want to see more of me, feel free to follow me on my social media, which is at lauraliu official or lauraliu unofficial on Instagram and also laura.liu at TikTok. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below or and or turn on the post notifications and I hope to see you in the next one. Mm.